Hi Mark, Press is uh, on now and a big day at Ashburton coming up. Just the first of uh, the cup horses, I was speaking to Tim about Ashley Lokaz and he's very pleased with his bro with the way he worked. How about um, uh, Self Assured and Spankham? How did you rate that work? Very good day there. Yeah, they did the straight track as you'll have coverage on and uh, they, they covered their last 800 and about 59 <clears throat> and uh, and both did it well within themselves and, and both felt strong doing it. So uh, they had a nice hit out on Thursday and uh, they trained well there too. So they're in a good place and I expect them to be very hard to beat. Uh, I suppose the clash with copy, that's the talk of the race. Uh, Mark, is that the way you see it? Yes, it'll be interesting. Um, just weighing up the, the form of both islands and, and, and certainly a horse I respect. I've, I've raced against him. I know how good he is. And uh, certainly if um, he, he was made the front, he'd be a hard horse to get past. Uh, you won a lot of uh, flying stakes, especially in recent years, uh, as a lead up to the Cup and a very good guide in most cases. Is it essential to win it from your uh, point of view, from your horse's point of view, do you sort of really have to win the flying stakes to stamp your mark on the cup, or is it you can roll the flow? Oh, no. Um, no, because you never know what does happen um, in a race. So, um, like last year, Cruz Bromac, I think, made a blotch of the last corner and then came out and won the cup. So there's no rules, but it's just nice. You, you're close to the cup and you'd like to see your horses in a good place, and, and, and that's where our two are at the moment. Your first drive is a three-year-old, it's all about faith, and um, once again it's a clash with Krug, where do you feel he's at? He's very good, um, I, was, I was happy he had a run up Thursday as well, and I was happy with him then, uh, I hadn't driven him this morning, but I'm sure his work would have been good, uh, so he's probably freshened up a little bit since his, since his last run, and um, yeah, I think he's, uh, it's only a small field again, and a mile would probably suit him. Would you like to see him more relaxed, or do you feel he's learning, uh, he's, he's improving in that respect? Well, I thought his, his last start when he trailed Krug, he was very good, and um, you know it wasn't a hard run race either, and he, he didn't get over keen, so uh, that was a positive. Um, but he's a horse that um, you know it's just on the day a little bit, and, and probably circumstances plays a part in whether he does over race or whether he'll come back to you nicely. Shane Noble, uh, I suppose the standing starts some consideration with him, but it's what we, could we fairly say it's a, a as much a tune-up race as anything else for him? Yes, yes, he's a lovely horse. Um, he's very sensible, so uh, I, I would hope that he he would step. Um, it's always harder that first time, but he's drawn out wide, so he's probably got a little bit of room, which is an, as an advantage. And uh, I think if he does step, he would take a power of beating. Beyond words. She's good too. Um, she's first run back after a little little break, um, and and she'll probably need the run. But in saying that, she she's a good chance to run in three. Earlier on in the day, of course, I, again I spoke to Tim, uh, driving um delightful dude and pace and pride, uh, standing starts um, maybe uh, some consideration, but on form they look hard to beat. Yes, you'd say that. You'd say pacing pride. <clears throat> Well, he'd probably get beat if he made a blotch of the start, but otherwise he should be saluting the judge. And um, <clears throat> delightful dude, yes, he raced good at Addington last week, and uh, he's followed that up with some nice work, so he should be hard to beat as well. And uh, what made you um, um, endure more hardship with Winterfell <laughs> as, the, as the driver? <laughs> not, no, no, no longer being a trainer. <laughs> Trevor Casey leaned on my shoulder and said, please. <laughs> <laughs> have, they, have, have they said, have they made any sort of progress with him, Mark, or is it, is it that they've just been fairly easy on him since last week? Uh, I haven't really heard, but uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to talk to Regan. But I'm sure like the beach would probably suit him, and, and let's hope mentally it just makes him, helps him turn the corner. Mm. Would Ashburton be uh, better? Any better for him than Addington as far as that left-handed track goes? Uh, yes, well, it'd probably be the best left-handed track to, to race on, being uh, 1,400 metres. So, uh, yeah, he, by rights, he should be getting around that track. Just looking uh, ahead of a week or so, and Kaikoura Cup, are, are we likely to have uh, runners there? At this stage, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Ashley Lokes is probably going to be our runner there. 
um, and we'll just wait and see what happens on Monday. The other two go to the cup trials, I, I assume? Yes, I think that'll be the best plan for them. They've had a bit of racing under their belt, but uh, Ashley Lopez he's, uh, has had his race as well spaced, so I think another run wouldn't hurt him. And he looks a picture. The, um, w what about self-assured, just because your cup drive, Mark, just uh, before we finish, uh, I I is he where you want him to be? How do you, how are you feeling about, about him, say, compared to this time last year or to the autumn? Oh, he's, he's, he's very good. He's, um, he's certainly a stronger horse and, you know, I, I think he's got more high speed now too, so... Uh, yeah, you know, there's a couple of strings to his bow. He's more mature, and um, just just the the only niche in his arm is the standing start. Otherwise, he's you know he's very very good. That sounds bad news for somebody. <laughs> now, all the best on Monday. Thanks, Dave. Hey.